Hi guys, welcome back to my studio. Today I'm decorating this big platter to look like a sunrise. At this point, this platter has been drying for a few days to leather hard. I'm using under glazes to add the color to the platter. I find it's easiest to do, just do this step directly on the pottery wheel, as the wheel will do most of the work for me. I started by adding yellow to the center and worked outwards from there. As you can see, it went on pretty thick straight out of the bottle. I could have thinned this ahead of time, and it may have been easier, but I found that adding, adding it thick like this straight from the bottle and then adding water to my brush and brushing it on from there works just fine. I love adding interest to my pottery through colors and carving, and I also love a good sunrise, so I really enjoyed making this platter. For the next layer, I added orange, overlapping the yellow. I wanted it to be really blended and have a nice transition. And the orange is not as thick as the yellow because I had already thinned it out for a different underglaze project. It went on easier than the yellow and blended nicely. Next was red around the edges and I blended that with the orange. Realistically, I am not up early enough to see the sunrise most days, but I still enjoy them when I do see them. One of my favorite sunrises was when I was in Hawaii. I lived in Hawaii for two and a half years while I finished my biology degree. Yes, surprise! <laughs> I have a degree in biology and used to live in Hawaii. On the island of Maui is a mountain called Haleakala, and if you get up early enough, meaning like 2 a.m., and drive the three and a half hours of switchbacks to the top of the 10,000 foot mountain, you can see a breathtaking sunrise. Better than you can see anywhere else, or anywhere else I've seen anyway. It's awesome. It's also breathtaking because the air is actually thinner there due to the high altitude. <laughs> but mostly because it's absolutely gorgeous. This platter really doesn't even come close to that, but then again, nothing really does. I think it ended up looking really cool. Normally I would do two to three coats of underglaze, but I wanted this to be slightly like a watercolor painting, and so I did one coat and then just went back and filled in any particularly thin looking spots after. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I could have left it here and it would have looked nice, but if you've seen any of my other work, you know, I like to carve and I like to add extra interest. It's kind of my thing. Oh, speaking of things I've worked on, I now have a website where I sell my pottery online. I've got over 100 pots up at the moment, and I'll keep adding more, so check it out. The link's in the description. After the underglaze dried a bit, I started carving. I wanted the main focus of the design to be on the colors, so I kept the carving simple with some radial lines of different lengths. They remind me of rays of the sun and tie into my overall design nicely. I really enjoy this graffito technique, which is adding color and scratching or carving back parts of it to make a design like I'm doing here. It always turns out super awesome. By the time I'm posting this video, it's already been fired once, and at this point I just need to add clear glaze and then fire it in the kiln again. So look for it in a future kiln opening. Thanks for watching. See you next time.